Hey everyone! As you can see in the title, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can install the Word Downloader mod to Minecraft. A few things about the mod before we do anything. What it does is basically when you're making a movement on a server, this includes walking, sprint jumping, flying, whatever, and loading new chunks, it is able to download those chunks and make a single player word of it. Obviously it doesn't have access to the server files, so it cannot just grab the whole word itself. That's why you have to load the chunks in order to download and save them. It does a pretty great job and it can also get stuff from the container items, for example shulker boxes, chests, barrels and it downloads the entities too. I think this is everything that you need to know, now let's start. What you're gonna need to do first is open up your browser and either search for word downloader mod, then click on the Minecraft forum result, or you can also use the link from the description. Anyways, you should just land on this site. On this post you can find a huge download button, then a little bit further down it will show different versions to you. I would recommend getting the latest one, because why not? It supports everything from 1.9 to 1.16.4. Hopefully 1.16.5 will be supported too, but you should be able to connect to 1.16.5 server using the version 1.16.4. So choose the version and you'll be redirected to their GitHub repository site. As I mentioned before, I will use the latest 1.16.4 version. But you can use any versions you want, 1.12.2 or 1.9, whatever. If you choose it, save the file to a great location, I'll use the desktop for that. You'll also need a different launcher from the original one, called MultiMC. Their site is multimc.org, but I will leave it in the description too. What it says is basically an open source launcher for Minecraft and it is easier to use mods with this and it also makes easier to play the real old versions, beta and alpha. You can just click on the download and install button now and choose your system. You can get Windows, Mac OS and different packages for Linux. Let's also save this file to the same location to make things easy and you can close your browser now. Go to your desktop or the location where you saved those files and you have to unzip the multi-MC folder. You can use 7-zip mirror or just the Windows built-in archiver here. As you can see we got a bunch of files in this folder but you only need to open the multi-MC app so let's do it. You'll be prompted to a window where you have to choose the language as you can see many supported but I will just go with English. On the next window you have to choose the java location, the default should be great. And finally an analytic tool, I choose to opt out from this google analytic tool, but you can choose whatever you want. So it opened now, you can familiarize yourself with it. First of all click on the add instance button to create a new minecraft installation. Choose the version in the middle of a window, as I mentioned before I will go with 1.16.4. For the name of the installation I recommend you to use the version plus WDL format so you can easily recognize it later. As a group WDL should be also great. Finally click on the OK button to create it. If it's done and you can see it, it's great. Now click on the edit instance to change a few things. On the first side, right, click on the add to minecraft.jar button. Now you have to locate the downloaded word downloader mods folder here, mine is on the desktop. Note that you do not need to unzip the mod, simply choose the comprehensive folder and you'll be good to go. And finally click on launch. As you can see I get a notification bubble here, saying that hey you are not logged in, would you like to do that now? Note here that if you do not have a copy of minecraft you can still use this mod, so without logging in. Click on yes, then it will open the account manager for you, so you have to log in here using your Mojang or Minecraft account. I'm not sure that how does this work with the Microsoft accounts here, but uh, hopefully most of us are still using the Mojang account. If everything done here, 
close the Vince window and you should be able to launch the game. As I mentioned before, if you do not have a copy of the game, instead of logging in, you can just click on the launch offline option. But bear in mind that you cannot play on most servers without authentication. Now it will get the important game files and assets from the Mojang servers. This is going to take a while, depending on your internet speed. As you can see, it launched for me without any issues, so it's great. I muted the music and changed some video settings because the game was looking terrible. At this point, you can simply connect to the server where you want to grab a part of the world from. I'll use this NRH server called 5b5t.org. I played on it a lot back in October, November of 2020. And I just joined, and these and portal sounds are horrible, and the chat too. Anyways, now at the game menu, you can see a download this word button. Do not click on this yet, but do click on the three dots next to it. So on the next screen you'll be asked that you want to enable multiverse support. For most survival, anarchy, adventure, creative servers, this isn't enabled so you should keep it disabled. But if you play on a server with multiverse, you must enable it, otherwise existing word data may be overwritten. And on this screen you can modify plenty of settings. What I do really and also you should care about is the word generation overrides. You can set a seed that is going to be used for generating new chunks in the downloaded world where there are no chunks. You can also leave it blank, later you will see how it works. You can also change the entity tracking distance, the default here is 48 blocks. If you're done with the settings, now click on the download this mod and the download will start. This mod will download every single chunk that you loaded, so keep walking and load those chunks. Now let's talk about how the container items, chests, barrels are being downloaded. So yes, you do need to open them one by one, all of them that you want to download. I will open a few here and leave some and later you can see it in the downloaded world. So I will just go around to load a few chunks, you will see this in a short time lapse. <laughs> Make sure to stop the word download if you are done. The game will save the word, you can see that on the top of the right side of the screen. Now if you disconnect from the server and go to single player, you need to see the downloaded word. If you join this word and as you can see it loaded with no issues. And you can also see that it is downloaded the content of the chests and the shulker boxes that I opened. And here is why it is a good idea to specify a seed word word. You can see here this is void next to the chunks that we just downloaded. So yeah, set a seed if you want or if you are fine with the empty word, feel free to leave it empty. Finally, let me show you how to copy these words to your original Minecraft directory. So click on the options, then resource packs, then open pack folder. It is going to open the multi MC directory and if you go one folder back, you will see that the saves folder and there is the downloaded word. You can copy and paste it in the app data dot minecraft slash saves folder. On Linux it is in the slash home slash your username slash dot minecraft folder. If you want to send this word to someone, I highly recommend you to add it to a zip file first to make things easier. So that's it now, you should know everything about this word downloader mod. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, if so make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more uploads, share this video, see you soon.